Hello friends, in this video we will be seeing about simplification part 2 which is based on completely modulus and set based problems. Now uh, before going to the set problems, let us look upon a modulus problems. It's very easy and it's just a thing of remembering a logic which is if modulus of A is given, A is positive is A value is greater than 0. Then A is negative that is if it is A is less than 0. Here implies that the modulus, the value of modulus is minus. Here, if the value is given inside the modulus like 5 or 6 anything, then it implies that its value is positive only. It's 5. If inside the modulus, if it is a negative value, then even though it is a negative value, we have to write it as positive value. It is considered as minus of minus 5, then it is written as 5. So this is the basic of the modulus problem which we are going to solve. And this is more important in most of the competitive exams. So please make sure that you remember this. If modulus is given like this and if a problem in the examination is coming like this, then how should we solve? This is easy. So let's see how it is. If x minus 1 modulus of x minus 1 equal to 4, as I said, x minus 1 equal to plus r minus 4. This is how we should write. Then if x minus 1 equal to plus r minus 4, for finding the value of x, we will be having that like x minus 1 equal to plus 4 and x minus 1 equal to minus 4. This is how we will be writing and then finding the value of x, x equal to 4 plus 1, this is x equal to 5. This is how we get a value and we get another value like x equal to minus 4 plus 1 and x equal to minus 3 and we have two values like x equal to 5 and x equal to minus 3 and we are not sure about that what's the value of x. So let's simplify by applying the x value in the given question. So 5 minus 1 modulus of 5 minus 1 equal to 4. We get the 4 equal to 4. And like that modulus of minus 3 minus 1 equal to. We will be getting modulus of minus 4. And which the value results right? 4. So both of these are the answers. So if we have any one of these in the option. Then we can tick any one of this in the question. Then we will get to another question like modulus of 7 minus 2x equal to 10 then this is similar to this problem and like here yes, we'll be writing this like 7 minus 2x equal to plus or minus 10 which can be written as 7 minus 2x equal to plus 10 and 7 minus 2x equal to minus 10 then minus 2x equal to plus 10 minus 7 which will be 3 and x equal to 3 by minus 2 which will be x equal to minus 3 by 2. This can be written like this. Then looking to the other value minus 2x equal to minus 10 minus 7 and x equal to minus 17 by minus 2 where minus and minus gets cancels and x equal to 17 by 2. So here we get the value as x equal to minus 3 by 2 and x equal to 17 by 2. As of this problem, we can find the values by substituting the x value in the question. So by substituting this value, 7 minus modulus of 7 minus 2 into minus 3 by 2 equal to 10. This is what we have to get, right? So 2 and 2 gets cancels and 7 plus 3, this is what we get and we get the value like 10. Then similarly, we have to substitute this value in the question. And modulus of 7 minus 2 into 17 by 2. 2 and 2 gets cancels and 7 minus 17. We'll be getting like minus 10. Modulus of minus 10 which is equal to 10. This is how we have to solve the modulus based simplifications. Even if it is a part of a big problem. Like the model 1. Uh, in the model 1 there is a small part of modulus which we can solve like this. So if the modulus part has a x value, then this is how we have to solve. If x part is not in the modulus value, there's no need to solve like this. So let's get into the sets problems. 
here important uh, points in the sets are this is a a set this is a set and this is b set this is completely of a part and this is completely of b part and this is a minus b part this is a minus b part this part which do not contain any part from b and this is b minus a part which do not contain any part of a so we have to write like b minus a we should not write this like a minus b okay then this is a part which has common parts from both a and b this can be write as a intersection b a intersection b and if it is write, written like this and this is the union part okay with the sets problems we have to know this four formulas which is more important uh, if you know these four points you can solve any of the problems from the sets so what's all the problems are n a minus b plus n of a intersection b equal to n of a which has n of a minus b plus n of a intersection b then here the common part is here this part does not have b section part from b so this is a minus b and here this have a and b which is a common is n of a if n of a value is given we can find the b value by using this formula okay then n of b minus a plus n of a intersection b equal to n of b uh, same as n of a here this part does not have parts from a so this is n of b minus a and here this part have both n of a intersection b that is this have both the part of a and b so this common is b part so n of b can be written like this and using this formula we can find n of a like that n of a union b equal to n of a minus b plus n of a intersection b plus n of b minus a if we want to find n of a union b we can use this formula and similarly n of a union b have another formula if we do not have a minus b and b minus a value then we can use the n of a plus n of b minus n of a intersection b this is uh, this is also another point how we can solve the n of a union b so let's have a look on the problems based on the sets problem 1 in a group of 70 people which the which the, uh, tells that the whole number of count is 70 and 37 likes coffee 52 likes tea and each person likes at least at least refers to one or more one of the two drinks find the number of people who like both coffee and tea here we have to find the intersection part which have both coffee liking people and tea liking people here we can consider that the universe is 70 this is 70 and 37 likes coffee right and 52 likes tea 37 and 52 we have to find this a intersection b we have n of a and we have n of b we also have n a union b this is the universe this is 70 this is a value of n a union b so we have to find n of a intersection b we know the formula that n of a union b equal to n of a plus n of b minus n of a intersection b right so just interchange these values n of a intersection b equal to n of a plus n of b minus n of a union b so what is the n of a value that is coffee liking people is 37 and tea liking people are 52 and how many people like how many people are there total is 70 this is what we have to find so n of a intersection b equal to while solving this we have to get the value right 19 right this how is this will be 89 and this will be 70 so we get the value of 19 so blindly we tick the option a this is the option so 19 number of people like both coffee and tea 
Now let's look upon a second problem. Second question is in a town with a population of 4000, 3000 people are egg eaters, 2000 are meat eaters and 1500 eats both egg and meat. How many pure vegetarian? Options are given like 400, 500, 1000 and 1500. In this question, you can find that uh, they didn't tell the egg eaters won't meat and me eat meat and meat eaters also won't eat egg. So we can combine both. Here the total value that is A union B, the universal value is 4000 and here the egg eaters are 3000 and meat eaters are 2000. From this the A intersection B value we know that 1500. So we have to subtract this 1500 from 3000 and so the pure egg eaters are 1500 and pure meat eaters are 500 only. So the other count we have to minus this that is A union B equal to A of B that is sorry N of A that is 1500 that is purely egg eaters and uh, plus purely meat eaters that is 500 N of B minus the count of people eat both egg and meat is 1500. So we get the value as this is 2000 and 2000 minus 1500 is 500. Right? This is what we have to find the value. This is the value we want. Right? From the whole 4000 people, 500 people are pure vegetarian people. So the now answer is five, uh, option B. Okay? Now I will provide some more problems for your practice if you have any doubt you can comment in the comment section if you have any doubt from other than the practice question i have given you also can comment the question i'll reply as soon as possible thank you